can also you can also schedule for later but you just have to instead of using the calendly link just like contact me and i can do one like after school or like on a sat okay. i'll do sometimes on a saturday and sunday as well yeah um, because so right now because right now i'm the i got hired as the instructional aide at, at samuel for iss so that's why like during the day it's kind of hard but i mean yeah, I get no problem yeah, it's no problem. Whenever, you know, whatever works for your schedule. But to, but between now and then, if you could for, for sure print out this document here. Now, these are your standards. The okay. exam is going to be compiled. It's made. The only things that the state sends to the test maker is this document and your TEKS, the TEKS that correlate with social studies four through eight. So fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Um, so yeah. it is so important for you, Marco, no, for you to have um, a really strong understanding of your standards and of the TEKS. The standards are um, in different subsections, each standard. This one is the social studies teacher has a comprehensive knowledge of social sciences and recognizes the value of social science. So that's like pretty broad. But okay. what I would like for you to do is to do a deep reading of this. And that means that you read and you engage with the text. You're going to dialogue with the text. You're going to highlight, you're going to put things in your own words, put examples if you have them. Um, okay. And on the left-hand side, those K standards are the knowledge standards. Those are things that you must know before you enter the classroom. On the right-hand side, you have the application. And the application is what can you do? It is your application of these knowledge standards. And, exactly. and by and large, the correct answer on the exam is gonna come from this right-hand column, that application column. Marco, no. Sorry. It's, it's fine. <laughs> he's like less than a year old, so he's- Yeah, I-, I... I have uh, I have like seven dogs, so I understand. Oh my yeah, goodness, we have two, of, uh, and one is really old, and one's a puppy. So the old one's just chilling there, and the other one's like, yeah, the other one's very hyper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So when you go through these, and you'll see here, for instance, this one, standard three, says the social studies teacher uses knowledge and skills of social studies as defined by the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills, the TEKS. That's the other document. So it is your standards along with the social studies TEKS that the exam is created from. And so we'll go to um, here, science, we'll go here and we're gonna where, go. Where can, I, where can I print those documents on? Uh, I'm gonna send you this. Um, girls, can you let the dog out, please? Let Mar only Marco. Okay, yeah, because like, what, what I was doing was the 240 tutoring, but what happened was when I was studying 240 tutoring and I did the test, like there wasn't a lot like they, that I could correlate in a sense. So it was like a couple of things. Right. So yeah, like I have that book, the the yellow one, the Texas Secrets. I have that one, but I wasn't really using it because they had told me the 240 was, was fine. Right. And so yeah. let me tell you about this Mometrics document. It is good in the sense that it has like think of it being google a google search for social studies the mm -hmm. like your teeks your concepts or whatever and so what you the way that you use this document is to go through the standards read through them whatever you don't understand or whatever is like whatever you could not in conversation discuss hold on i'm gonna have to let him out myself marco no worries it's okay <laughs> okay Oh no, he bumped his nose. He was scared. <laughs> oh, he'll be fine. I'm sure he, he'll be fine, my love. Sorry. Okay, so um oh, I was showing you the these. So your exam is going to be um both is made up of both your standards and the teaks. And so you using that yellow PDF. Mm -hmm. is only useful to you if you are looking through and so i've taken you just this is social studies yes, and, the, and the link i provided for you here um in your oh it says science it should not say science it should say social studies wait a minute mm -hmm. 
um, your grade level teaks. It's important for you to go through fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade and read through those and make sure that you understand and that you are knowledgeable in, in a conversational type way. It doesn't have to be memorized, but of the main concepts and skills that the students need to leave your classroom with. And so that's what we see with the TEKS. And the exam is built on what you need to know and should be able to do in the classroom. And then what the students need to know and should be able to do before they leave your classroom. And so when you're, when you're looking at your team, you're gonna have to access the elementary and the middle school because it's four through eight. And so we'll look, at, we'll look at the fourth grade here. Each of the content areas, it is um, it begins with the teaks like this in an overarching um, sort of introduction or goal as to like what, what this class is about. And it's important for you to read through them. And they, they ring true each grade level. For the most part, they stay the same. For uh -huh. something like history, um, you know, when, when it's a little bit more focused, like Texas history, the overarching goal will change just a little bit. But the same strands and go right here, they're right here. It says, uh, if you look at paragraph three, it says there are eight strands. And so I would, if I were somebody studying for social studies, create like index cards, big ones, the, you know, the bigger, like not the tiny ones, but like the mm -hmm. bigger of your eight strands, because those eight strands are going to be the same eight strands that we build in, whether they're in kindergarten or whether they're taking like eighth grade social studies. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, they have them listed for you. And so read through these, um, and I'm going to bring you down to one. Remember, we're doing fourth grade here. We're doing uh, fourth grade students. They examine the history of Texas from early beginnings. So in fourth grade, it's mostly about Texas history, right? The bulk of it. Um, and then what I want for you to do as you read these is, and on your cards, is to make note, like, what's the difference between fourth and fifth grade? because it's still gonna be the eight strands or categories, right? Of essential knowledge that they're looking at, but how do they make, how do they change it and make it more complex in each of the grade levels? Um, and, and that is that nuanced change is important for you. And it's important for the exam because we do different things with fourth graders than we do with eighth graders. Yes, and so it's important for you to read through these so that you are comfortable and familiar with um, the different objectives and goals for social studies, um, like the subject in the different in the different grade levels, like in fourth grade, what is the main goal? What are the the, the new things that they're learning? How does that differ from fifth grade, right, in social studies? And so when you're taking the exam, you half of taking these exams or passing these exams is being a careful and mindful reader of the scenarios and the questions that they give you. For something like social studies, there's going to be a lot of knowledge, factual based things where you have to identify things based on what you know historically. But there are also going to be questions where, um, you know, they say Miss Salceda is a seventh grade Texas history teacher discussing forced migration and uh, the students are having this issue, which would be the most appropriate response. And so based on the information that they give you, that they're in seventh grade, that this is the teacher's goal, you should be able to choose um, what comes next in their curriculum or what is the best course of action for them in their social studies instruction. So um, between now and the next time that we meet, what I want for you to do is to for sure, for sure, print out and I'll, oh, it was science. Oh my God, I did change the science one. You see, I changed it to say social studies and it said, I was like, why does it say science? Cause I'm looking at the science folder. Okay, mm -hmm. change it back to science. I apologize. And go back to here. Um, so your standards, I'm gonna want you to print those out. 
Okay. Um, you can't as easily print out the teaks, which is why I'm saying to make those sort of like um, no cards or, or like, yeah, or a paper of some sort. And those okay. are something that you'll just keep forever. You'll still need them. And they're important because, you know, you never know. You'll just, in the middle of the summer, they'll tell you, hey, we're moving you from sixth grade social studies to eighth grade. Oh, we're moving you to seventh grade now, <laughs> you know? It's yeah. just like it's where just they need you, where enrollment is. And so you have to be competent and confident to be able to adjust lessons and goals based on their age group and their grade level. And mm -hmm. so this is the one, this is the document, this standards document. I want you to print it out and sort of staple it, put it together. And, and this is your Bible. It's your entire content area. It's what you're supposed to know and what you're supposed to be able to do in order to be a social studies teacher okay. um, in the state of Texas. So uh, doing a very close reading of this and I, I don't know did you send me your test scores uh no I did not but I know them okay well you could just if you could send them to me and that way I can look at particular competencies and that way I can like make a better like a like a teacher does like you will do for your students a needs assessment like what do you need I know that there are lots of standards within this um Texas exam but to look at your scores will help me ascertain particular information to best help you so we're not spinning our wheels on things that you're like very competent in and that we super focus in on things that you need more attention so make sure you email those to me but in the meantime between between um this time and the next time that we meet um and i'll tell them to open the i'm going to tell them to open the exam sign up for your next test date um, but give yourself a little bit of time to where you can, you know, okay, I'm going to meet with Miss Alceda, we're going to go over some questions, we're going to talk about best practices, like to where you give yourself at least, you know, one or two times that we could meet together, you know, for at least a 30 minute period um, mm -hmm. to go over this. But uh, other than that, I'm going to tell them to open the exam for you and um, print this out. I want for you to do a, a close reading. That means you're dialoguing with the text. You're, if you have to, if you don't know what something means, there's no shame in not knowing what a concept is, what a time period. There's only shame in like reading it, knowing you don't know what it means and moving on and then looking it up, right? So like yeah. I, I have a master's degree in English and a master's degree in communication. And there are still lots and lots of things that I yeah, do. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I, I, I'm actually doing my master's in communications right now. Oh, that's excellent. Congratulations. Yes. That's really, yes. that's fantastic. That was my second master. So like, that's wonderful. I, I, I really enjoyed both of them, but my point is, is that you never know everything. And anytime yeah. I see like a word that I don't know what it means, I'm like right away Googling it. And if I don't have access to Google, it's like an itch I can't scratch. So mm -hmm. like, I need to know and, and do that with this document. If you can't turn to a friend or like your sister or brother, and just like in in a communication talk about uh, related geographic information <clears throat> and <clears throat> ideas to information ideas and in other social sciences and other disciplines. If you don't know like what that means and you couldn't explain like, oh, well, this is talking about like geographically, how does where you are born matter? Like, does it give you an advantage? Does it give you a health advantage? Does it give you a economic advantage? Does it give you an education advantage? You know, I would say yes, there are many, you know, <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and so looking at that and the fact that I can explain it to you means I have some knowledge in it. And so yes, if you go through these and you see like, okay, I, I couldn't explain this to someone. Let me just Google this really quickly. And, or if Google doesn't work, use the, that yellow booklet. Remember that PDF that it's yes, not super, super good as far as like test questions, but it's got so much content already solidified everything for social studies. So, mm -hmm. and if that doesn't work, uh, email or text Miss Alceda, and then I will figure it out for you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, you do you have access to this already, or you don't? I don't have that document, but if you could email it to me, I'll print it out. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna email you the entire folder, and it's one of the the one of those in the folder okay along with the t okay so we'll start there and and we'll move on to the other documents later okay sounds good 
Okay. And Sundays are best for me. It's like, if you want to do a weekend, like Sundays are, are like open for me. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. Cause I have Sundays off too. So I'll, I'll send you an email to set everything up. Okay. Excellent. It sounds good. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good evening. Bye. You too.